Hello, and welcome to Let's Try. I don't know. The series is uh, slowly becoming something different. I don't know what it is just right now, but I haven't played this yet, so I am trying it. So why don't we just call it Let's Try? This is Beton Brutal. I don't know how to pronounce that first word, but this uh, game caught my eye almost immediately. It's about $8 and it looked really cool. Um, it's not a particularly complex game, but we're just going to jump into it. Uh, well, that music is getting quite intense. Hold on a second. Okay. Got some, got some house, house music. Um, no, this is not a horror game, at least not that I know of. Um, whoops. This is a, this is a, oh my God, I'm, <laughs> I failed the first jump toys. This is a, a game with some interesting roots. Uh, can I, can I make this jump? No, I can't. But this is a, there's a, this is a game influenced by, if you could believe it, Minecraft. I find that to be a very strange source of inspiration for something like this. But, uh, if you've browsed TikTok or Instagram at all, oh, that's, that's in fact, um, slow down. Okay. We want, we want sprint. Um, you'll, you'll notice that there's been a trend for, I don't know, videos of people doing parkour and platforming in Minecraft and, and entire levels. Can I, oh, that's a, that's a tricky jump. I don't know if I can make that jump. Um, basically like, you know, videos on top of videos, uh, where someone does like a bunch of parkour in, in Minecraft and, uh, okay. We, we want to go up here actually. Uh, I, I find it really funny. I find it kind of sad. No, I don't find it sad at all. There's a ladder up here, but, uh, I do think it's really interesting. I think that, um, there is room. Oh my God. I'm really bad at this. There's room for like a game with this kind of style of gameplay. And I also thought that this just looked really cool. Like there's kind of a getting over it vibe to this game. That is like, if you fail, if you fall, um, you could fall for a very long way. And I know that this type of game is not for everyone. Um, and it's not even necessarily for me, but I do know that there's a very large audience for this game. I know a few friends that would be really into this. Obviously there's a speed running, um, you know, feeling here like you uh, definitely speedrunners are going to be into this um but i also i just like i love that they they went for a vibe and the fact like they they absolutely um leaned into the brutalist vibe um the kind of brutalist architecture holy crap i am really bad at this at this game Ugh. okay I, I've seen videos of people doing this, like, m you know, Minecraft platforming and they can just, oh God. All right, well, there's our first awful jump. I might have to do pauses occasionally. Give me a sec. Actually, I feel like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, pause or away some of my failures because I, I, I did that, I did this recovery a lot faster this time. I mean, this is the satisfying thing about these kind of games is that you get into a groove of things. And obviously once you're getting really far, um, you know, tension is high, stress is high, but then, you know, a failure, uh, is, it's only a failure if you don't learn anything, you know? And if you, if you track your progression and if you track your speed, then you're gonna, you're gonna actually notice that you're getting a lot better at it. And I already feel like I'm getting better at it. You know, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more confident. Oh God. Oh God. Oh that was that was almost really bad but yeah no i i love uh i love the look of this thing. i honestly like i don't know if this game has ray tracing but it kind of feels like it does i wonder if it doesn't if th this is the, this is the kind of game i think would oh my god really benefit from ray tracing you know it's simple it uh but it it looks good um it's not a very high fidelity game and I think that uh, I actually think that the the games that benefit the most from ray tracing are the low fidelity games, because uh, low fidelity games I don't know what it is about it, but um, I think that in some ways low fidelity does more for immersion. 
I don't know what it is. I can't really explain that one. That's really very much a, a me thing. But, um, and I'm not talking necessarily specifically low poly. Although, you know, yes, low poly. Low poly would be low fidelity, right? Unless I'm wrong about that. Um, but I think that when, uh, especially an independent, doesn't have to, to, you know, spend nearly as much time focusing on, you know, the, the, the vertices. I know, I know, I know two terms, the vertices and uh, the triangles, you know, then uh, they can spend a bit more time focusing on stuff like this little bit of rust on, on this, on this uh, pipe. The, the way the, the light kind of refracts, well, I guess not reflects, reflects off of it. Um, the sound effects. I feel like those things do more for, oh God, um, for immersion and you know make giving the player a sense of place than triangles and vertices and you know like don't get me wrong you know i could play a uh horizon zero dawn it's like yeah that that definitely feels like a world but i don't know it feels like a world but it doesn't really do much to immerse me it feels like more like a playground of mechanics than it does a world can we go over here it's just, it's just a light. It's very pretty. Okay, we have made it to the next part. I like once you get really up here, really a high up, you're gonna, you're gonna get that sense of vertigo. Why is there? There's a vertigo on the bottom left corner. Like a percentage. Didn't I do this? Okay, I, I got worried there for a moment. This game is going to use ladders to great effect, I can tell that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why Why did... The vertigo went up there for a moment. I'm not sure why. There's a really... What is happening here? Uh, this is interesting. I, I kind of want to just see where this goes. It's like... Increasing the FOV. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm curious. I, I, I want to know what that means. I feel like there's a failure point if you look down too much. I strayed way too close to the sun. Oh my god. Well, I might want to do a pause here after all. Is there vertigo if I stand on the edge of this? I don't know. Well, I guess I might do a pause. I'll be right back. Interestingly, your your vertigo seems to increase if you stare upwards as well. But anyway, I'm, I'm pretty much back to where I was. You can skip a large portion of that next spot. I am very intrigued by this vertigo mechanic. I gotta say, I don't know, I don't know what it's all about yet. There's a, there's a little bit of mystery in this game. I don't know, there's not really any story to speak of, but I am interested in uh, what it's doing. I definitely think that this is going for the speedrunner vibe. And it also, it reminded me of um, way back in the day, I used to play um, a little <laughs> lesser known game called Team Fortress. I wonder if you can... Can you shortcut here a little bit? I wonder if you can. I don't know if I want to try, but there, there's a uh, there's definitely shortcut potential. Um, I used to play Team Fortress Classic, and um, a popular game mode in Team Fortress Classic was uh, the you know the platformer. There were the there were rocket jump stages, and there were just like jumping stages and then there was also stages where like you could be um like you could you just had to use your grenade you know like there was a there was a huge concussive grenade meta back in the day i'm probably dating myself here in fact i'm dating myself so hard right now i bet you there are not actually people that would know what i'm talking about necessarily but that's fine um i think that people you know 
obviously we know what rocket jumping is right we all know what rocket jumping is please don't make me feel that old oh because that's uh, still in uh, tf2 still present in tf2 but uh yeah there used to be like concussive jumping as well what are we doing where are we going are we jumping to that I don't think that was correct. Maybe it was? I, I kind of don't know where I'm going right now. Well, okay, we're still going up, and that is correct, right? It doesn't matter if you fall. If you're going up, you're going the right way. I suppose I just um, contradicted myself, because if you fell, you're not going up anymore, are you? I love that there's a sound when you go through the, the brush. That's so nice. I love stuff like that. Oh, there's like little bit of, bits of falling sand as well. Okay. Things are getting interesting now. We're doing things that are not just like platforming. Oh, no! Okay, well, we fell a little bit. Not, not, too, mu not too bad. I don't know how far down we are, to be honest. Oh, uh, pretty far, actually. There's definitely a time and place for... <laughs> the little crumbling bits of sand and stuff. Uh, there's a time and place for, for sprinting. You don't necessarily want to be sprinting all of the time. There's a, there's a ladder there. I, I feel like I'm not... It, it, it can get a little bit confusing, I won't lie. But that's okay. I mean, um, you know, once you figure out the route and you do it a couple of times... I really can't tell... which way I'm supposed to be going. Give me a second. I guess over here, because there's a ladder over here. Yeah, this makes sense. I remember doing this. Well, wow, that one little fall did cost me quite a bit of extra time. Mostly because I had to refigure out. There's a, there's a bit of a labyrinth in this area. I guess uh, there might be a time and place for doing um, the walk as well. Like, you know, since you can, you can hold shift to walk. Okay, we're definitely... Jumping to that. I remember this part But this part is a little confusing because like where are we going now? Can I make it to that? Well, I maybe could have but I didn't I do remember doing this though We're at 18% vertigo. I, I don't know what that means But it seems like the game is telling me that's a bad thing. You don't want to have vertigo. Hmm. I could go over there. I feel like that's... This is fine? What's over here? Now I just kind of want to explore. I wonder if there are different paths. Once you get high enough, you could like take di different paths. Well, this seems... Uh, doesn't seem wrong, necessarily. It feels different. Uh, we're at uh, 15 minutes now. I'm just I'm just kind of curious about the different areas. I love that the the FOV change is is a very interesting twist. I don't know if uh, everyone's going to be down for that. I'm sure that's going to make someone sick. Um, I, I guess I feel a little bit um, privileged in that it doesn't make me feel sick, but. Um, it's, it's an interesting way of doing this. I'm sure there's a way to turn it off. I wonder if there is. I wouldn't be a bad idea to showcase. Dynamic of FOV, right? So if I turn that off... Yeah, it doesn't do that anymore. Okay. Um, I'll turn that back on. 
What, what was that? Current height is 80 meters. Longest fall, 45 meters. This is my max height so far. That's a good way of telling that you're on the right track. Because if you're at your uh, max height, then you know you're progressing. And, you know, clearly I haven't seen some of this stuff. But some of these pipes do get a little bit samey. So... Oh, no! Oh, no. Now I don't know where I am. Oh, okay, I know where I am. All right, I'm, I'm all right. I didn't fall too too badly. That wasn't that wasn't too bad. My my concern at this point is actually, um, it's not to uh, not having to repeat platforming sections. It's having to refigure out some of the some of the trickier kind of labyrinthine sections. There's like more over here. Can I, can I make this jump? I don't think I can, but I also don't think it matters because I don't think that that is actually, uh, that's, that's where I want to go, but I, I want to get there the normal way. All right. I, I, you know, like I, I've seen quite a few of those kind of Minecraft, um, uh, platforming videos parkour videos and you know the, it's a strange it's a strange landscape we're living in online but like yeah they they really uh go for it in terms of engagement because they're like not only uh are they showing you this like hardcore plat uh hardcore parkour minecraft thing where am i going am i jumping over there yeah i am um but also like they're like you know they've got this robotic voiceover like am i the asshole i just ruined my you know five-year-old daughter's birthday party because she didn't want to eat cake or something like that i don't know now i think i'm going down there sometimes you got to go down to go up And like the the platforming in these Minecraft videos, they get really extreme. Like they they are never not sprinting, basically. Like they would just be jumping through all of this. I have to be a bit more methodical. I have to take my time and think about it. I have to I have to think about things sometimes, you know. Not just the platforming, but also just you know just things. I have to think about things. What I had for breakfast, you know. What am I gonna have for lunch? You know things. Okay, we're in a new landscape now. Things are developing. I've got a ladder. I really do love the the design of some of these platforms. It looks really cool. Um, okay, we're we're doing some interesting stuff. Oh God, I don't know if I like this platforming with a ceiling above me feels a little bit cla claustrophobic we're doing it it's a game about facing your fears you know i do actually have a bit of a height fear um i've gone and done things you know like you go to a on vacation or something and hey do you want to like walk across this bridge this bungee jumping bridge did I just hear like whispering or something? And it's like, I, I can't imagine bungee jumping. I don't even want to walk on the bridge in question. It's a scary bridge. Oh, wow. It just keeps going, huh? It's like that uh, Simpsons episode. It just keeps going. Well, that's it. You beat me, Mountain. And then he finds out his his dad tried to eat his best friend or something. I don't know. Oh, things are getting really interesting now. I love I love the look of some of these places. I wonder if there's any reason to go in there. It looks like we're probably going to have to at some point. Th 
I think that dynamic FOV is also changing slightly uh, every time I make a jump. And I definitely could see that um, b bothering some people. So I hope you don't mind me leaving it on. Um, I wouldn't blame you for turning it off. I guess it does that in Minecraft as well, doesn't it? Like when you start sprinting in Minecraft, um, the, the FOV changes. I swear to God, I'm occasionally seeing something move, but it's like, it's just like, uh, you know, leaves. I don't know how I feel about that vertigo sound effect constantly making a sound. Where am I going here? It says to go down, so I guess we're going down. Ah, okay, yeah, we are we are going over here. I figured as much. They wouldn't put all of this here and then like not make you have to do it. The the change in, in environments is it's sometimes subtle, but this is not one of those. It's it, this is really cool. I hear like birds and stuff. Ah, oh, I actually really like this game. This is I I, I love these kind of games like they've you know obviously the gameplay itself is uh you know it's not necessarily innovative in fact i'll just go ahead and say it's not innovative um there's a weird flickering i wonder if that was my flashlight uh but i just like the the dev or devs have really gone for it with this game it, it feels really good like the music is good the sound effects are the sound design in general is just like really really excellent and uh, i don't know that just the environmental design is i love it i'm i'm uh, I'm, uh i've got a high amount of admiration for this game all right okay don't mind me in my in my strange old man sounds I don't know if we're trying to go over there. Weird. It's like uh, my flashlight doesn't want to look at certain things. Uh, I'm actually really not sure about where I'm going right now. I don't think this is it though. Almost starting to question whether or not that's like a visual glitch. Yeah, I don't think it was supposed to go on top of that. I think it was supposed to go here. And then we we use these ladders to like climb around. Okay, this is getting really interesting actually. The the actual like level design is also very clever, I got to say. It's it's novel. It's not innovative, but it is novel, you know? I've played a lot of first-person platforming in my day, you know? I've done a lot of first-person platforming, and I like it. It can be really fun. I, I'm not a huge fan of um, speedrunning culture, I will say, but um, I like I like a good puzzle, you know? And I think that, uh, that first-person platforming is basically just a, a very soft form of, of puzzle. There's definitely a strange sound there. I haven't fallen in a long time. Why do I say these things? Why in the world do I even think these things? I haven't fallen in a long time. Yeah, I mean, what a what a brilliant thing to say out loud. You know what's going to happen now, right? You know I'm going to fall. I am a I'm a firm believer, honestly, that haven't I been here before? Yo, that water is such a nice touch. Oh my god. Oh no, I fell. Uh, was that fall a lot more bad than I think it is? I'm starting to worry now.
I have to I just have to find the beginning again. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that fall was actually kind of a kind of bad news. It kind of, the game kind of reminds me of like The Last Guardian and um Eco. I don't know. I can never remember if it's Eco or Ico. And Shadow of the Colossus as well. Oh, yeah, I was going to say I'm I'm a firm believer that um you're only jinxing yourself if you say that it's a jinx. Now, I understand that I have now said that it is a jinx. So therefore, it is a jinx. I understand this. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not blind to my own ruling. But, now what are we doing here? This doesn't seem safe. Uh, please don't tell me we're trying to jump this gap that does not look like an easy gap i guess i can try and angle it so that i land on the pipe if i fail <gasps> oh no that is a long long way we have fallen that is a long way we have fallen i don't even know what i was supposed to do there But I do know that we have a long way to go to get back there. That must be my, my farthest fall so far. Let's just have a look. Ye 68 meters. I don't know. I feel like that is. My max height was 160. So I think that means that our last fall oh, was, was in fact our, our longest fall. I seem to recall. Oh yeah, the ladder, right? Just even the simple sound effects, like climbing a ladder in this game, the fact that there's like a slight reverb, it does a lot to enhance the experience. Honestly, I I, I firmly believe that if this game wasn't like really pretty, and I think it is pretty. I know that's a that's a strange one because um, I'm sure a lot of people are going to look at this game like what. You think this is pretty? I think this is pretty. I think this is a beautiful looking game. Um, I think I've gone the, ra the wrong way. I, I, I looked at the sign and the sign said, you must fall. But was it here I had to fall? I am not certain anymore. I... I, I made it through this section really quickly the first time. But yeah, if it, if this wasn't as beautiful as it is, I think I probably wouldn't be as invested to, like, get through this. Okay, this feels a bit more correct. We're not doing that again. That feels like a, tr a trick. I don't think I don't think uh, you want to follow the signs all the time. And it actually I do think that's kind of a shame that the the signs are not necessarily your friend. Because um well, I guess uh, the, I don't know what that sign is supposed to mean. Is that are these do these signs mean anything ever? Again, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit more confident in my step, my pacing. Uh, definitely, like, you know, it takes a little bit of time to get to know, you know, how far you can jump, um, how high you can jump, your speed. It, get, it takes time to feel comfortable. But once you do, then you'll feel a bit more confident to do some risky stuff. That was, uh, that was almost bad. And I, I think this is also what leads to, um, a player getting tilted is you, you get confident, but you also become impatient, right? You, th you, um, 
mistake your 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 impatience for confidence your speed for uh you know you 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 just kind of want to rush it you're no longer being methodical you're you're not really making the oh god no <laughs> Uh, you're not making the most of your skills anymore. You're just kind of rushing um, And that's what leads to greater uh, mistakes like the one I just made And then of course you've fallen even further and so you become even more impatient and you start making even more mistakes But then again, maybe um, this is also teaching me training me in a way to not feel so nervous about my falls it's like it's gonna happen you're gonna fall you're gonna fall again you may even fall right now it's fine don't worry about it just like you know get up keep climb again you know um feel actually like you know it, it, in a way it does teach you to be confident because you realize that the you know that fall isn't nearly so bad getting back to where you were wasn't uh, it's not nearly as you know traumatic as you thought as you feared right because now you're doing things a little bit faster kind of reminds me of uh, i know this is going to be really n n dorky um original dragon ball um i i love original dragon ball i think original dragon ball is some of the best and I think that if anyone is like not an anime fan um, that's watching this and, and, and doesn't like Dragon Ball Z, I highly encourage you to try Dragon Ball. Just the original Dragon Ball. It's a very, very different beast. It is a very different beast. Um, it's more of a mythology, you know? It's more of a, a folklore than, than Dragon Ball Z now. Dragon Ball Z now and you know dragon ball z in general is i think the um the stereotype of anime what people think of when they think of anime what you know those that do not watch it but i encourage you to check out original dragon ball anyway i'm, I'm drawing this out way longer than it needs to be but um there's a story or a, a tale uh in original dragon ball where goku is trying to um meet someone who can train him which i guess is a lot of dragon ball stories even dragon ball z but there's a tower he has to climb and the, the tower just kind of goes on and on and on forever uh you know miles and miles and you gotta climb this tower and uh you know it takes him like a full day to climb it and he finally gets to the top and it's you know really it's it's scary goku uh, you know is up for mostly any challenge and gets to the top and then there's a like a you know a cat trainer and uh he's like hey, i'm here to 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 train with you and he's like okay all you got to do is uh grab this like thing for me this like little basket or something that's uh that's the training and goku's like oh that's it that's easy don't worry about it i got this and he of course you know goes goes at him and the guy the cat dodges and basically throws him off the tower <laughs> and uh you know it's a, it's a kid's cartoon so we're just going to pretend that you know fall damage is not a thing um and goku falls and he you know lands in the kind of the safe grass below and then he climbs up the has to climb up the tower again and oh my god this is so uh annoying and what what stupid training is this this is dumb but then he gets to the top again and he you know he fights the cat and the cat avoids him he gets a little bit closer but he avoids him and throws him off the tower again and goku you know frustrated he, he like runs up the tower this time and it's like can you stop doing that i'm here to train not try to grab your stupid basket and uh the cat's like yeah but look like look how much faster you climbed up the tower you're already getting stronger and uh it's a, i think that's a great it's just a such a good little story you know like it, there's no kind of like there's no yelling 
to to power up there's no uh no change of, of hair it's just a, a little to a story about progression and feeling more confident and how sometimes even impatience is a useful tool speaking of which i'm here again and i have no idea where i'm supposed to go I somewhat feel like I'm not actually supposed to be on this thing at all. Hmm. You know, I am noticing that... Is that a different... Is that a different area? I, I kind of... In my mind, I wrote it off as being the same area again. But is it? I don't think it is. I think it's a completely different area. I think I've climbed up so high that I thought it was the same. Oh, it would have been kind of nice if I'd made that jump. Yeah, this doesn't feel the same. Oh. Well, at least when I fall here, I don't fall all the way down. Anyway, I do I do highly encourage. I know that uh, anime in general has a has a stigma and I understand why, and I know that the fan base can get really um fanatical, you know. Remember when uh, f fanatic was not necessarily a compliment? Um, I like to try and... Um, if I'm going to recommend anime, I, I do so with the air of if you don't like it, that's totally fine. And I know, I understand why people don't necessarily like these things. It's a kind of a shame, you know? Like, I think that that is the worst crime of, of a fan is that they can put someone off of a thing that they themselves enjoy. What is the point of that? Don't you enjoy it? Here's another thing. I mean, I know we're getting into the weeds here, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting into the Zen of this game here. Um, I, I have talked a little bit, um, online about how I feel about Star Wars. If you've heard my spiel about Star Wars, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go about it again. I'm not gonna talk about how I feel about Star Wars, but I am gonna talk about something I think is very strange to me, which is that the, the Star Wars fan, I think is the worst enemy to Star Wars. I, I think people take it for granted that everyone has watched Star Wars at this point. I think people have taken it for granted that Star Wars is just in the vernacular, like it's in the, the, the lexicon. Everyone watches Star Wars. And I just don't understand why that is such a prevalent thing i don't understand that feeling like i haven't I, i'm not going to assume that you've watched dragon ball even though it is like one of the most famous animes um why why should someone presume so here's the here's the thing to me is like the first thing that people do when they talk about Star Wars, is they talk about the spoilers. <laughs> Even if they have no idea if you've watched Star Wars, and I find it to be such a strange thing. Because, you know, everyone knows the thing, right? Everyone knows the thing. <laughs> and I'm not going to spoil it here because I don't want to be a hypocrite about it. And I know it's like an over 20 year old movie now, but like, wouldn't you want someone to experience the movie in the same way that you did? And not like exactly the same, of course, everyone's different, but wouldn't you want someone to enjoy the movie with potentially the same amount of like, I don't know, starry eyed, like viewpoint, the same kind of unspoiled, unfettered, viewpoint a fresh perspective you don't know anything you don't know anyone you don't know the lore 
You don't know who who the guy with the helmet is? The guy with the helmet. You're thinking like which guy with the helmet? Exactly. Could be any guy. There's like four guys with helmets. We take these things for granted now, you know, like pop culture, I feel like is the death of art. I know that's a probably not an original take and it probably sounds out of context, like a very boomer take. And I understand why you would think that. Um, but hear me out. I think that pop culture is basically the transition of art into fanaticism. It's when um, something is no longer a uh, makeup of its of its parts. It's not a makeup of, of its uh, of its storytelling, of its aesthetic. It becomes a fashion statement, you know, like it's it's uh, we do we kind of take it for granted. This is the thing that we have now and we will always have it. It has always existed and it will always exist and we will be here with this thing forever. And I think that's very strange, a very strange viewpoint to have because it definitely takes the thing that you're enjoying for granted. And it might even be potentially ruining it for other people who might enjoy it as much as you. But I understand there's another, uh, you know, there's going to be another, I, I, I would say, tiresome, exhausting perspective, which is like, well, how can you, like, try to be the kind of person that makes sure you don't step on anyone's toes and make sure that you don't uh, ruin the thing? Like, how are you supposed to talk about these things without ruining it for other people? You know, it's it's sort of like, the, I think the question kind of boils down to why should I have to be a compassionate person? Why should I have to have empathy? It's a it's a defense mechanism, you know, it's a fight or flight thing. It's like, how dare you imply that I'm doing anything wrong? And I am really just implying it. I'm not even like directly attacking anyone. I'm not even attacking anyone really i'm just uh, it's a more of a cultural thing than it is like at this point obviously it's not wrong because everyone's doing it right there's a lot of things that are wrong in the world that a lot of people are doing so it's fair to um draw attention to that and maybe even you know point a finger at it and say hey maybe this isn't such a cool thing that we're doing and I mean, we're just talking about something really easy right now, like Star Wars, anime, Dragon Ball. Where am I going? I thought I was going over here, but it doesn't seem like I am. I would think I would be going here. I guess I am. Oh, okay. I didn't think I could reach that. Oof. So our flashlight is occasionally going out. There's clearly like scripted moments where your flashlight cannot be your eyes. Oh God. That's a scary jump. <gasps> that was a scary jump. So yeah, there's there's moments pre pre assigned moments where you're uh, meant to just kind of jump, you know, be water. <laughs> Are we jumping down there? I get the impression they want me to jump to that light there. Oh god, things are getting scary. I don't I don't like this anymore. It's spooky scary and I don't like it. 
Okay. I didn't honestly ex uh, plan on playing this game for this long, but testament to it. It's very good, and I'm really enjoying it. Oh god. What have I done? Ugh. Okay, I, I feel like I have to call this at some point. I don't know when though. <laughs> Okay, I'm assuming I want to go here. The lights are a helpful tool for navigation. I guess I, I, the next time I fall would be a good place. And I, I can start to feel my hands shaking, so that could be any moment now. Okay, thank God. Not sure where I'm going right now. Surely it doesn't want me to jump on the... Oh, okay, hold on. Sometimes if it seems difficult, it means you're trying to do something. It means you're, you're, you're making it difficult on yourself. Oh god. Okay. I I'm in, I'm so invested in this now. I actually had somewhere I had to go. I was like, I'll just do a quick video on that that game I found. Just a quick little video. You know, I honestly think that this is a great place to stop. What a what a very pretty looking place. Maybe I'll do a part two of this. I wouldn't mind doing a part two. If you'd like to see more of this, definitely uh, hit it, you know, throw me a comment. You can, uh, you can also comment on some of the stuff I'm talking about. Um, you know, try and be respectful. That's all I ask. But um, outside of that, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.